Was there uh, anything about the way that they guarded you in the fourth quarter, or were you just more aggressive and kind of taking the mindset that you needed to put more of a stamp on the game? Uh, I think you're right. Just being very aggressive down the stretch and uh, having that resilient attitude to just go at them. You know, as you can see, me and Scotty were jawing back and forth a little bit, and uh, that's going to be part of the game. That's the psychological aspect, and uh, I'm never going to shy from that challenge, but we want to get the best shot possible down the stretch a few times. Uh, we had some empty possessions in the fourth quarter, but uh, I think we set ourselves up to have that type of fourth quarter in the third quarter when we were playing very aggressive on the defensive end. And uh, going into halftime, we came in with a, a good feel of, for the game, and we just knew we had to give the game a little bit more in terms of our physicality. And as we talked about going against the Pelicans, I think they hit us first, and then we got down in the hole in the first quarters. Uh, you know, dating back to our first preseason game, I think we were like 99 to 58. It was like minus 41. So our first quarters, we've been starting off very slow, and we don't want that to become a habit. So when we're in the game and we're playing defense, then I feel like uh, we can stick to the game plan a little bit more and then uh, find some opportunities to attack them. So, uh, Kyrie, uh, Pascal Siakam had quite the game tonight. He had a triple-double, 37 points. Uh, what can you say about his offensive growth uh, during his time in the league? Uh, you watch social media and you, right, this summer. I think we saw as many uh, spicy P clips and Rico Hines runs as we could possibly see. Uh, just, uh, you know, as a, as a Hooper watching uh, at home, I, I definitely uh, felt his presence this summer around Los Angeles. And I think other guys can say the same that uh, P was putting in a lot of work and is showing for himself. And it's, he's going to continue to get better. And. Uh, this team is is a well-oiled machine. Uh, the, Pascal was 15 for 20. I, I think, yeah, I mean, this guy was off the charts. And uh, triple-double is uh, probably going to be happening most nights. I don't want to say he's going to average triple-double, but I think he has the capability of being a triple-double guy of just how many pieces they have and how well they play through him. So it was good to go against them, but I'm glad we got the win tonight. Kai, when you guys really got rolling, the, the crowd kind of came with you for a while, and then when it becomes a back and forth game down the stretch, how much did you kind of feel that energy from uh, the stands? Energy's great in Barclays. Uh, <clears throat> I think our fans can get a little antsy sometimes, very hypercritical of just what they're seeing out there in terms of uh, us giving that championship effort. And when they're not seeing it, they're going to let us know. And I think we have our own ticker as a team as well of just wanting to build great habits, great championship habits. and. Just leave it all out there, whatever that looks like for us, playing with a high IQ, of course, but just leaving it all out there and um, exhausting uh, as much energy as you need to be there for your teammates. Um, Kai, you guys just all looked more comfortable out there, the ball movement and everything. You had an 18-1 run when you, when you needed to do something. I mean, was this just trying to get past that first game and all being a little bit more familiar, or what was it? Yeah, I was I was definitely happy that we got <laughs> through opening night. I was emotionally drained. Just, you know, I think other guys, I don't know if they'll admit it to you guys, but just the start of a season, getting everybody tickets, getting your nap in, getting to the game arena early. Um, I was out on the court, and it was three of us shooting on one basket. I didn't have my pants for my sister when I was getting ready for pregame. Like, it just... Little little things on that night uh, led up to kind of just us being pressured, me feeling antsy. And um, I think tonight we just knew we had to settle in, play hard, and just let the game come to us. And uh, down the stretch, go win. That's really what it's about, go taking wins.